Hi everyone, James here from F9 Audio and welcome to F9 Electric Funk Instruments. 128 fully playable patches for Logic, Ableton and Contact 5.8.1 onwards. Ever since we created the first Electric Funk pack, so many of you have said, when can we get our hands on fully playable instruments like this? And this is exactly what we've been developing and what we've got for you here. Now, I've been accused of talking a bit too much on YouTube recently, so we're just going to dive straight in and show you these sounds in action. Something else really exciting was starting to happen around this time. The first few affordable samplers were available and were starting to make their way into producers' repertoires. The sonic tone of an 8 or 12-bit sampling system is unique even still to this day, and we've worked really hard on this patch collection to make sure that is carefully represented in some of the bass sounds. For me, the fun with these basses really start when you take a few of the different bass patches and start to use them in a composite manner. Here's an example of that inside of Ableton. <laughs> As you can see, we're using a number of patches here. Our main core sound comes from an old 8-bit sampler, but was actually sampled through a chorus pedal. Then we've got a DX patch that I've just bung some reverb on. It's got that wonderful 80s darkness to it. Now a slap bass patch that's had a bit of EQ work and a tasty little bit of uh, bit crushing. And now in the second half of this piece, a nice big fat analog style bass comes in, powered by the contact version of this library. Whilst we're here, let's just talk about the formatting. Those of you who purchase the Ableton pack will get everything in Ableton racks with full macro controls. Those of you purchasing the Logic version will get channel strip settings powered by ESX24. They're incredibly fast loading and come with a whole range of plugins already set up and ready to go. The contact version, you get this nice GUI. It's a simple set of controls, but they really work. But one thing that I would like to say now is that I have found that the contact engine has really helped make this material shine. So if you do have contact, seriously consider getting hold of the contact version as well. <laughs> We had a great deal of fun putting together the keyboard instruments for this collection. FM synthesis was everywhere in the mid-80s, and FM was great at electric piano sounds, and no one had really heard the kind of more crystalline tones that FM was capable of producing before. Technology always drives the fashionable sound, so these electric piano sounds were everywhere. We've gone back to a whole series of these patches and really carefully sampled them with typical F9 twists. Some of them are incredibly wide, some of them have gone through chorus pedals, etc, etc. Thank you. 
What's most important to us is that we made sure that all of these patches were incredibly playable as keyboard instruments, but also sonically you can layer a few of them up and you will be able to start creating, as long as you turn the quantize off, some of that great wall of sound chord sequences that producers like Jam and Lewis were so famous for. So this for me is a perfect example of exactly that happening. And it shows you just how well these sounds gel together because I've hardly had to do anything more than just a little bit of balance to get them to all fit. So from our key patches, we've got our DX4 up roads, a JX10 soft piano. We've got some analog piano sampled in this as well because some of the analog synths mixed with the digital sources just sound fantastic. An 8-bit road, so this is an electric piano patch that has gone through one of the old 8-bit samplers. It's a bit more blocky, but once you actually start to do things like spread the chords, like that, it can really add something when mixed against the other Rhodes patches. Now I've also got another old 8-bit sound, which is a pluck sound from an emulator too. Now let's have a look what happens when we put both of those sounds in. We've got one other spread chord, which is just from the Juno piano. Now please bear in mind, all of these were played in completely live, so they really have a little bit of organicness about them. Now add those to the original stock pianos. So now let's add some ear candy to the back end of this. Let's now put it all together and see what we've got. Now, if you are a player, we really encourage you to turn the quantize off and start stacking some of these parts up. Why? Because that is what was happening back in the day. A lot of these guys just programmed the drum machines and then played straight to tape. And that's what gave all of those fantastic records such an amazing human feel. Now, let's start looking at what is certainly, I think, my favorite part of this entire release, the polysynths. We used a mixture of analog and digital sources, just like the producers of the time. On the analog side, we used an original Jupiter 8, OBXA, Prophet 5, and Prophet 600. We used a variety of digital sources, of course, using things like the DX7 and the Prophet VS, but also some sample patches, because you just can't replicate the weight and power that comes out of those old 8 and 12-bit sampling devices. But once again, the fun really starts when you start to take some of these sounds and stack them up. So we've got three main sounds playing the main poly part. This one, another warmer sound, and a thicker Prophet 5 sound. 
individually they're all great, but once you actually layer them together, and here I've got exactly the same part playing, you can get something like this. So now let's look at some of the other sounds. I've got this patch from a Prophet VS heavily treated with reverb. So it adds great tone. I've got a rise poly from a Juno that as you hit the chord, it will slowly rise up. Great for just shutting it straight off exactly what it's designed for. I've got an OBX poly that's just set up to do these kind of almost sequency type parts. Another thin poly coated in reverb. We've also got a nice thick warm pad from an emulator too, an 8-bit sampler. And you hear all that tuning in there? Once again, we've sampled this through a chorus pedal, but the instability of the patch itself really helps to bring this kind of modulated feel. And we've got this short poly sound from a Jupiter 8. And we're actually using it as a little lead. So hopefully that gives you a really interesting view on some of the different textures and tones available in the polysynth section. Okay, and now for something we simply couldn't resist whilst we were putting this collection together. So now let's have a look at a collection of sounds within this pack that are either pluck sounds, sequence sounds, or sampled stab sounds. Without a shadow of a doubt, one of the biggest innovations in terms of music technology in the mid 80s was MIDI, but it also brought with it the rise of the sequencer. So suddenly it became really fashionable to have all of these kind of short staccato sounds jittering about all over your track. FM was great at producing all of these, but the analogs had a part to play too. And we feel that we've got a collection of sounds that really well represents that. And once again, it's best if we show you some of this kind of stuff in action. I've got a number of sequence parts here in yellow. We'll just zoom up so we can see the notes. Here's one. There's another part just uh, firing along with that. Quite simple additions and one more. Add them all together. And now using some of the tom patches and some of the sampled hits that we've got in this section of the patches, we've managed to create this. No self-respecting collection of patches would ever be without a section of leads. And we wanted to make sure that all of the sounds within this area had real tone and character. Thank you. 
So thanks for watching this introduction to F9 electric funk instruments. We had a massive amount of fun putting these patches together and we absolutely love what we've come up with here. If you do get it, we hope you get years and years of enjoyment out of it. And please don't forget to play us anything that you absolutely love that you've made with these sounds. We're completely dedicated to customer support at F9. So if you ever have any questions about this or any other F9 release, don't forget to contact us at info at f9-audio.com. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.